Hi guys, it's me again, Aswat, and this time I'm going to review the movie The Foreigner, starring Jackie Chan and Pierce Brosnan. Um, sorry, I had to lay it down because the light, I have only one source of light. See, if I stand up, you can see it's, it's just dark, I don't have a front light. So I'm gonna just lay back. So I apologize for this. Um, okay, let's go on with the review. Uh, the review is. Um, the foreigner and the movie is actually quite interesting um, because the trailer the movie is not what the trailer is about the trailer is telling this movie as uh, something a Jackie Chan movie but it's actually not it's actually um, a political trailer um, it's about uh, <clears throat> some N NRA you know irish republican army related kind of terrorist terrorist attacks and how the british government and um, how british government jackie chan and pierce brosnan tries to you know uh to get to, to that to get to the bottom of this and try to stop the terrorism from happening so that's 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 the story and jackie chan is just a uh, a uh, want the plot and um, yeah I would say it's an interesting story and Jackie Chan is great as a serious actor this movie is super serious uh, quite a serious movie and Pierce Brosnan is amazing he steals the he steals the movie I have to say that because at, at the end of the at the end of it I was you know, there was screen time, uh, goes to Pierce Brosnan has more screen time than Jackie Chan. And and to me, you know, it's his story. The whole story is very interesting. The Jackie Chan part are a bit interesting, but how should I say this? Um, not what I expected, you know what I mean? Uh, it's a very serious movie. Uh, in, I'm just going to go away and screen give you the rating and I will explain I give this movie a, a 6 out of 10 because it's not 5 it's not average uh, it's a bit above average but it's only get a 6 uh, and I'm not gonna watch it again why because this is it's a movie that takes itself too seriously and the topic of the IRA is a bit uh, I don't know not irrelevant uh slow very slow very draggy um a lot of subplots um it's okay when you watch it no it's for me it's just that tv show this would make a great tv show but for in to turn it into a movie is just too slow too draggy because the ira subplot is really you seen it before. You seen it on TV. You know. You seen it on uh, NCIS or something like that, or CSI. So yeah, but definitely the the actors really did their part very really, very well. Pierce Brosnan stands out. Jackie Chan stands out. All the everybody else also stands out. But um, but it's just for me. It's a six. It's not something I'm gonna watch again. Um, it's really nothing, you know. Jackie Chan can fight, but this is not some. This is not his best fighting movie, lah. Uh, if he's this is he's trying to do a serious role, probably. But the movie takes itself too seriously, and I think that ruins it for me. And you know what I mean. Uh, however, for a Chinese production, because this is made by. A Chinese company called Wanda. Uh, so, uh, as a Chinese production, it's a step up because what they did was they get a foreign director, white uh, British director, and everything, good actors and good writers. So the movie from a China, if this movie from China is a good step, yeah. But other than that, you know, you you gonna you gonna forget about the whole thing. Everybody else besides Pierce Brosnan and Jackie Chan. Everybody else are uh, forgettable. You won't remember anybody in this movie after this. 
that's it that's my review for the foreigner peace